Another consultant and I were working with a client recently, and the client was debating whether or not to provide all the users in their organization with the ability to create reports. On the upside, the debate went, they knew this would be a good way to empower their users to ask and answer questions about their work inside of Salesforce. On the downside, most users don't know Salesforce well enough to run effective reports. You end up with many duplicated reports, and you get reports that don't have the right filters and so don't show all the records you think they should. You also get a ton of reports saved in the default private reports folder for each user where they don't help other team members. And this led to an interesting question. How many reports do we have in the private reports folder today? I used to think as a system admin that even we couldn't access or easily count the total number of private reports, but it turns out I was wrong. My colleague mentioned he was pretty sure you could query for that information, and that got me curious, so I looked up the object reference for both reports in dashboards and serendipity. Sure enough, down at the bottom, there were two SQL queries that show exactly how to query for private reports and dashboards. Using a very similar syntax, I created and ran a SQL query to generate a full list of private reports in the environment, and it worked. I will post this query down in the description of the video, and if you have any questions or if you find a better one, feel free to let me know down in the comments. Some of the people that I shared this with even found other awesome ways to query for this information. For example, here's one query to show the count of reports by user in descending order. And there you have it. That's an easy way to query for private reports and dashboards. So thanks for watching and have a great day.